Make no attempt to reload your device. You are now entering the hell hole. Welcome back to the Hellhole. Welcome back to Vampire Survivors. We are making some good progress. It looks like we're live, pal. I'm Internet Sensation Mick Lucifer, and this is uh, a little game called Vampire Survivors. I've been uh, playing a whole lot, unlocking a whole lot. We got more of the stages. Uh, it wouldn't be a Vampire Survivors stream without a little bit of a recap. So here's how I did the inlaid library. This is the last five minutes. You can see the chaos is already underway. So last time, if you were with me, it's in the archive now. Uh, I, I tried the inlaid, vamp uh, inlaid library. I didn't have quite enough success. I got very close. I think it was like 20 something seconds away. I figured I'd play one more round. I had a new character unlocked, so I figured I'd try that out. I think it's a panda bear. A panda bear with cherry bombs that explode. I don't know. You can see it's all going off here. It was actually, it was turning out to be a pretty good run here. So the last five minutes is really not as hairy as it could be. I mean, look at all this space. That's what really surprised me. This, uh, this run was pretty much as good as it gets, and I think key to that is getting some of those evolutions, so I'm going to be checking that out tonight as I try to take on the dairy plant. Taking the sights and the sounds of this incredible final run. Getting plenty of cash. Just look at this. This like, I mean, I've got the garlic circle giving me a great sort of buffer. I got explosions. I got the the disco laser cross upgrade. Uh, I upgraded. I forget what the scythes are. Are they the axe? I think that's the upgraded axe. So I've got like the. In Castlevania terms, it's kind of like the, the the death, the Grim Reaper sides or something like that. I don't know. It's getting a little more intense now, but I've still got... look. At, I mean, just look at all that breathing room. Room to move. Pretty good. <clears throat> Upgraded Fire Wand as well, so that's pretty good. Full disclosure, I did take a run at the dairy plant and I did get very close. I used a new character I unlocked which was uh, kind of like a priest and uh, although I made it very close to the end I didn't complete it so tonight we're taking my second run at the dairy plant. Less than two minutes to go here in the inlaid library. You can see so much room here comes the coronavirus Medusa heads. It's all happening. Oh, 
video quality taking a real hit with all this action on the screen. I don't know if there's much that I can do about that. There is just a hell of a lot going on. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. All going off in the dying seconds. Insane. Here comes the Grim Reaper. It's all over. I don't know if there's anything you can do about that guy. I, I presume not. Maybe with the fully evolved pentagram? I don't know. You can see I got some good achievements. Thumbs up. All that good stuff. Very good. Now we're live. We're live, pal. Ooh, welcome back to the hell hole. I'm uh, Vampire Survivor McLucifer. Got to make my decision here. Who are we going to play? Uh, Yata Cavallo is the panda bear that I used to finish the last one. I liked Crotchy, but I didn't have much luck. Uh, we got more upgrades now, too. So Demario is the one that I tried my first run on the dairy plant. I got... I got real close. I got real close. I don't know. I'm going to try Panda Bear. Let's see. No pants. Let's go. A little bit weird starting off. These, uh, these bombs don't look real convincing initially. It gets better. And so we got some relics to get on this stage. Wow. Decisions already, already to be made. Um, I'm going to go with the axe because I really like the fully evolved axe. So I'm going to be using this guide here that I have. So the Canada Labrador or whatever, whatever it's called. That's going to help me upgrade that. Um, okay, well. I got re-rolls now. I don't particularly like these options, so let's see what a reroll gets me. Nothing much that I like. What does the bracer go with? That goes with the knife, so we're looking for knife and candelabra. I, I was curious what these creatures were, so I did look it up. They're fishmen. I did not immediately recognize that, but I now see it. They kind of remind me a little bit of, uh, I think the bluish color reminds me of Mortal Kombat's, um, Iroki Demons. They kind of look like og uh, I don't know, like og ogre type things. I don't know. Here's your Castlevania. Let's go with the knife, since we can evolve it. Getting those evolved weapons seems to be like a real, a real good way to go, so... I don't know, let's see, let's see what happens. I don't know if this is going to be a clear or not. Here come the milk boys. I don't know why we're in a dairy plant. That seems very, uh, 
Very strange to me. I assume something nefarious is happening in this dairy plant. Um, are they... are they... I really don't know what to infer from this. <laughs> is it evil milk? What are they milking? Is it blood? Vampires are involved. Get that going. Here's some luck. Let's get some luck. That can't hurt, right? So, I'm not really loving my weapons right now, if I'm totally honest. Uh, I'm, I'd like to get my hands on some garlic, because that's a good upgrade. I forget what the garlic goes with. I suppose I should know that. What goes with garlic? Where is it? Pomerola. Yeah, this is not feeling... Uh... I wonder if uh, the panda was particularly good in the library because it was closed in, so those bombs would bounce around very effectively. We're going to find out. If we have to take another run, we'll take another run. Didn't really think this through, maybe. The panda moves quite quickly, that's a that's a good thing, and and the bombs, at least in the library, were very effective. Should I try to shoot some of these guys? I gotta get some upgrades here. Upgraded axe. It's gonna do some damage. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. Whoa, coming in hot. Some kind of Minotaur. I like Minotaurs. You can't go wrong with a good Minotaur. A little bit underrated these days, I reckon. Hmm, which way to go? Bombs are good. Axes are good. Really cranking up the bombs will be nice because they were giving me um, they were giving me some good breathing breathing room in that last run in the inlaid library. I feel like I'm not really getting enough bang for my buck right now. These, these open spaces maybe are not quite as conducive. Uh, do I want the armor? I don't think I do. Let's try to get these bombs doing some damage. Okay, I didn't really want that chicken, but we got it. This is getting, uh, it's getting a little tricky. I see the chest. I will try to make my way there. I'm going to try to get some of this loose XP. Keep on leveling. Hmm. Better grab this while it's on offer. The Candle Labrador. Let's use this. Okay. I don't really know what I'm looking for next. I mean, I'll probably just take anything offensive I can get. The fire wand would be pretty good. The garlic and the pomerol are definitely on the agenda. I could be exploring, I know that. And I guess we're going to go for the relics at some point, but I really just want to be upgrading at this point. Um, cross would be good. Let's do it. Get our offensive capabilities up. So in that completion of the inlaid library, I was really just trying the panda out on a whim. It was a new character I'd just freshly unlocked. I figured, let's just have a quick go, see what it's like. And uh, it turned out it went really well. Okay. 
Remind me what goes with the cross. Okay, the clover. Um, um, decisions to make. Not sure if I've gone the right way with this one. This combination might be a little bit... A little bit off because I really want to get that garlic if I can. I better go back for that chest. I keep forgetting. Ooh, it's a triple. It's a triple. What do we got? Upgrade me. Give me all the good stuff. Axes, crosses, candle labradors. Good stuff. I'm not really focusing my attacks as well as I probably could. Let's grab these. Okay. I got over the laurel. It's fine, it's good, but I'm not... I'm not counting on it as much as I was. Hey, how's it going? Jeff Phil's in the chat. Good to see you. What do we got? We got a knife upgrade. Okay. That's fine. Fine and dandy. Um, ooh, Pomerola. Pomerola gets things going. It's going to pair with the garlic and give me super stanky breath. The maximum repellent. That's what I'm looking for. See some trouble coming. I guess we got lizard men. We got... Milk elementals. Why milk? I don't know. <laughs> I'm really not sure. I guess I gotta look into the lore of the game. Because I, I don't really know what's going on. I was not anticipating a dairy plant. Spooky forest, sure. A creepy library I can go with. But uh, a monstrous milk plant. I don't know what's going on there. like to see that garlic maybe come up soon. Alright, well, that happened. I don't know what's going on over here. I guess there's probably some, some hidden stuff. We should go for the relics. You can see there's two arrows on the screen. I don't know if I can get them both on the first run. Maybe I have to do a second run, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out. At least the this panda guy is... Cavallo or whatever. Ooh. Don't particularly like these. I guess I'll use my re-roll. Um, okay. Grab the chest! What do we got? More, more luck? Sure, why not? Can always use a bit of luck. Double up some XP. Maybe, maybe we'll start going for the relics. Hey, what? Grim death has come for me. I don't remember, um, I don't remember that happening last time I played. And is this guy not taking damage? I don't know what to do about this. Um, what? I'm pretty sure that guy didn't show up last time I played.
I wonder if the minecart will get rid of him. The fire. Can I burn this guy? Nope. What is this guy's issue? This is this is a new one for me. Did he just did he leave? Wow. Things are going nuts. I guess death left. Death took a holiday. Death is gone. I'll get my axes leveled up. Running to the bulls in the dairy plant. I'm sure that makes sense somehow. Wouldn't mind getting that chicken over there. Just, uh, feel a little bit healthier here. Reducing cooldown is always so tempting. Definitely use a chest, maybe evolve something. We're looking for weapon evolves. I think that's going to be a, a real helpful thing. We're at 10 minutes. Here we go. Evolution of the axe into the deadly scythe, the death spiral. This is good. Uh, that's what I'm looking for, the garlic. Vampire Survivors provides. Very, very good. And maybe I could start thinking about those relics. And more of this bad stuff. Yeah, I still, I still want to be getting XP. That's the only thing. Can I take this guy out? Yes, let's try to evolve. What can we get? Something good? More garlic. It helps. It helps. Work to be done with the garlic, so we'll take it. I kind of want to get moving, but I, uh, I don't want to leave without all this XP. It's just sitting here waiting. Oh, it's a party now. I don't know what these guys are. Some kind of skeleton warriors. Sure. Are they? Do these guys come to the dairy plant because they need calcium? Is that what we're... Is that what we're to infer? Maybe that's the whole purpose of the calcium plant. Or the, the dairy plant. Maybe it's a big skeleton scheme things are getting nuts hopefully that picture is holding up it could be getting a little pixelated wow that is a lot of things happening on the screen right now Let's try to get that garlic up plenty of XP to be scooping up I kind of don't know where to where to look what's this guy missing anything not really I don't I don't know what evolves the cherry bombs but I guess I've got two more things I can go with if I want to the rune tracer and armor could be good 
because that's going to presumably help me defensively a little. Although, how am I doing? I'm a plus three armor, so not a huge priority. I could go Fire Wand. Basically, Fire Wand, Rune Tracer. Fire Wand could be pretty good, actually. Not sure. up. I like these rapid fire upgrades. They're always good. Makes you feel a little little better about things. Red one. Gonna grab one of these because they're very good. We got revival now on the table, so that's pretty good. Might come in handy a little later in this run. Stay tuned for that. We're only at 12 minutes and look at this. It's insane. I think uh, I think my little test run with the priest was doing a bit better than this, to be honest. So uh, I'm a little nervous about that. Uh, the priest, I had the upgraded Bibles and was just sort of cutting through everything. So that was pretty good. I don't know if the garlic is going to be quite as effective. We're going to find out. We got a triple upgrade in this one. This is going to be good. We'll get some gold. We'll get some gear. What do we got? Stuff. We got lots of stuff. Areas increased. Luck increased. Healing a bit more. Good stuff. Uh, we're, we're a little boxed in here. I don't know if I should be heading for those relics. There's still a lot I want to get upgraded. That's the thing. Tracer would be okay. Let's do it. So next on the agenda will be armor. So I can super evolve all my stuff. Wow. Upgrades a go-go. So that's our layout. Hopefully it's good. We're kind of, we're set now. No more upgrades. We got what we got. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we can do some good damage here. Maybe head to these relics. Not sure. Grab, grab all this XP as we go. Hopefully get some good upgrades. You know, it's dawning, dawning on me that there, at some point there's a lot of, um, like, giant robot kind of enemies. And I'm wondering if the garlic is maybe not such a good choice for them. Didn't really think about that, did I? I guess we'll find out. That's what overwhelmed me at the end of my priestly run. I wonder maybe two of the robots uh, less affected by the Bibles and things like that. I don't really know how... Um, how elemental these things get, how rock, paper, scissors it is. I don't know if certain en enemies are more weak to things than others. I would guess so, that would make sense. Hopefully with the with the evolved axe, the cross, the bombs, the cherry bombs, hopefully these things are going to cover all those bases. Sometimes a little bit tricky to know what I can walk over and what I can't. We 
seem to be traveling pretty well now. Halfway there, 15 minutes. So much XP, I hate to leave any of it, but it would maybe be nice to go get some of those relics right about now. Whoa, here comes Triton. Does it make sense for a man of the sea to be here in a dairy plant? Maybe. He's taking a milk bath? I don't know, maybe. I don't know what it's all about. See money. Should we get the money? Play the long game. Never enough money. Hmm, choices. Get that cross nice and upgraded, and maybe we'll be able to evolve. Uh, let's see what what happens. Are we ready? Can we evolve something? Is that the upgraded knife? I think it is. Thousand Edge. Good, good, good. Whichever way I look, I spread death. And I'm going to need to, because look at this. This is getting nuts. And we're at 17 minutes. So a long way to go. One of these things is coming real handy, so I'll grab that. Soak up as much upgrading as I can get. Level 56. Plenty more to get. I can barely process what's coming in. There's so much of it. Things are coming in. I'm shooting things out. We've barely even touched our armor. Hopefully that's not a big issue. Should I get some money? Grab the money bag. Sure, why not? Gotta scoop up some of this. Let's go for the chest. Should be something that can be evolved. So hopefully it will do that. I don't know if it goes straight to it or if it's a bit of luck. Looks like the cross is upgraded. That's pretty good. The cross becomes the Heaven Sword. Hopefully all these upgrades will help get the job done. I don't know if there's any benefit to holding off some of these evolutions. I'm not really sure. In terms of not just the damage that's done, but the spread of projectiles. I don't know if there is a benefit to, like, holding off, keep the crosses. This seems pretty good. I don't know that I have too many complaints about this. Whole lot of stuff to get here. Work on the Rune Tracer, keep that offensive capability going, because... I've seen the end of this one, and I know how crazy it's gonna get. I want to be able to cut these guys up real good. Whatever I did in that first run, it was not enough. Here comes all the tritons. We got fishmen. There's a real, a real nautical theme, subaquatic theme to these bad guys. Lots of fishmen, lots of uh, mermen, triton types. I don't know if Poseidon has a stake in the milk company. <laughs> 
put a little bit of energy into moving through the plant now. Try to get closer to these rich... Um, what are they called? <laughs> relics. Try to get closer to these relics. Have I been saying ritual? Here's where things get hairy. Look at this. Giant robots coming in hot. That's a worry. And the robots are going to be in full force at the 30 minute mark if things play out the same way they did. There's a chest. Hopefully we can evolve something. How's it looking? Room Tracer is fully upgraded. Hopefully that's going to help. Definitely want to be just cutting through these bad guys. These hideous monsters, these mechanical menaces. These mermanic maniacs. actually sure how far away these relics are because uh, things are looking pretty crazy right now. Can I keep getting some of that XP just as I move through? I if I could. Wow. This is, uh, this is Bonkos to the max. I hate to impede my progress, but there was just so much to get here. I don't want to ignore it. I think that's everything leveled up. I guess we need some chests to evolve. I don't know the deal with the cherry bomb. As long as I don't need health, I'll go the money bags. I think those gold discs on the floor can trigger traps, but uh, I wasn't really clear what they were doing. This is insane. And it's nothing. I'm trying to target that big one. I want to get rid of it, but I also want to get the um, the upgrade chest if it gives me that. There we go. This is nuts. Is that the upgraded garlic? The soul eater is unleashed. Very good. Look at this. A big ring of death. I'm going to need it. Clearly. I see those relic arrows starting to separate. So that's good. I guess the map kind of... It's a... Is it a repeating layout? But not necessarily a... Um, a loop. I'm not really sure. Hmm. 
I don't know that I need to worry too much about collecting XP to get levels up, but... I might as well try. Hopefully we're getting closer to these relics. I don't know if I have to complete the stage with the relic or if just collecting it is enough. I think just collecting it is enough because I'm pretty sure I got the library relics on a couple of failed runs. I guess we're going over this way now. Insane. If uh, if you're curious about my progress to this point, you can find the the first two stages in the archive. Head over to YouTube, search for Hellhole Vampire Survivors. That should get you what you need. Uh, even if you don't get the the one you're looking for, you can head to the channel and find all sorts of things. Lots of interesting things going on right now in the Hellhole. Less than five minutes to go. I Probably try to get to these relics. There's a chest I've missed somehow, some way. How far away is this thing? There's a relic here. I could swing left. Uh, I'm not seeing the relic in all of this chaos. Well, there's a chest. Wow, would you look at this? Look at all this stuff covering the screen. Mayhem, carnage, less than four minutes to go. There it is, there's the relic. Milky Way map permanently enables the map in the pause menu. Ha! Ah, in my, uh, I think my first run, first day of this, this is like day three or four now. Uh, Wyrock was telling me about maps, so I guess I unlocked a map. That's good. I wonder, uh, what are my options here? Am I able to get to the other relic? I still don't, there's still a chest up this way. Well, there's probably not that much to be gained from the chest, so let's go for the relic. At this point, I think the chests are just going to give me more money, and I will forgo that for the sake of the progress of getting the other relic, if I can. Easier said than done, I'm sure. Although we seem to be doing okay. Uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better, I think. Uh, from what I saw in my first run with the priest, things are going to get crazy <clears throat> in a couple of minutes. Like unfathomably insane. I see the relic. It's beyond the chest. Let's grab the chest. I was forgoing that chest, but I'm not forgoing all chests. If they're if they're available, let's get the gold. It's going to come in handy. I can upgrade some more things. Uh, it looks like there's still more things that I don't know about that I can I can level up too. Our scooter permanently allows uh, to access the list of defeated enemies from the main menu. Well, that sounds good. That sounds good. I wonder this I wonder if there's secrets. I don't really know what to look for. At this point survival is the name of the game. I'm not sure if can everything get piled yeah. I can't go through this gold golden sort of roped off area. But the bad guys can. There's no equality in video games. Oh, look at that. There's a magic cross. Grab it. Get a little bit of a breather. Oh, should I have camped here and saved that for the last moment? I think I probably should have. That might have been a, a little bit of an error. A tactical error. Could I definitely could have helped myself save that. 
There's a freeze here now. Wow, 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 wow. How about that? That was a lot. Uh, I don't know what the deal with all these blue dudes is. These blue aura guys. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of now at the mercy of just what's happening. Okay, we, we've gone the freeze earlier than I intended. I was kind of hoping to save that for that last moment. I wonder if I go back up here, will that cross respawn? Because that's probably going to come in real handy if I can get another one in. I think it's here. Doesn't look like it. It seems like a lot of a lot of the um, a lot of the power ups on this stage seem to be respawning because there's a lot of those attract orbs. I guess it's mostly the attract orbs that I've been seeing. I don't know if that was just a lucky, lucky little case of of that kind of thing being around. Like, look at this! Look at these! We got all these giant robots now. These guys are like maximum toughness. We're under a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna need to be grabbing health soon. I think this is really just a, a bad situation all around. Not a whole lot I can do here. I've got a couple of revives, I think, on um, on standby. Standby, I'm gonna need them. We're under 30 seconds though, and and there's just they're just keeping a little bit of distance. Hopefully, we can keep that going. I'm trying to keep moving here. Try to use the uh, the knives to repel them as much as I can. Don't know if that's actually working. Uh, we're not getting we're not getting health opportunities, but we are recovering health. We've got the pomerola. I mean, look at this screen. This is really insane. And we did it! We did it! 30 seconds. And here comes Grim Death. 30 minutes, sorry. Wow! Hey, I can revive. What's gonna happen if I revive? I do it again. What happens if I just keep reviving? I don't think I can beat this guy. Let's go with it. So what do we got? We got some we got a couple of achievements for the relics. That's pretty good. I didn't necessarily expect to do this on the first try. So um wow. That's quite good. How long did that take? Not too long. And we got the the bestiary now, the bestiary. So I can learn more about all these creatures. Oh wow, this is good. Good intel. Skeleton, lots of skeletons. Look at that. So we've taken out thirty thousand skeletons so far. Is it? It's got different little key art. That's nice. I like that. It's good that it sort of tells you a bit about them. Their power, their speed, their health, I presume that is. Oh, and so there are. There are resistances. I'm curious about that. Interesting that these flower walls don't have resistances. They're just incredibly tough by comparison, I guess. And the werewolf is pretty tough, 180 HP. Dust elemental, so that's what that is. I, okay. <laughs> the lion head, I was curious about those. Wow, they look weaker than I thought. I thought they were a little bit tricky. And that's the milk elemental. Sigra Rossi. Interesting. Uh, it's, I was calling it a witch. It's a hag. So it's resistant to freeze, rosary, and debuff. Interesting. Resistant to freeze. The resistances are, are something that I've been very interested in. So floaty and fixed direction. And you can and you can still see like right from these early entries, there's a whole lot that uh, we haven't even encountered yet. Undead Witch. 
Undead Sassy Witch. That's funny. Merdusa. Okay. Giant Bat, of course. Mantichana. I wonder, is that another language? Big Mummy. I like the mummies. Just, just as a simple thing. I enjoy that. Venus Merman. That's what we were dealing with just then in the dairy plant. The Merman. Lizard Pawn. Lizard Rook. Twin Demons. Jellyfish. Jellyfish is kind of weird. They, I don't know that I don't know that they survived long enough to see it, but I noticed on a on, on the previous run I did. They sort of they they form like a, a a formation, and the wave drifts, and then they come back. It's almost like they're riding the tide, the way maybe a jellyfish would. I'm not sure if that's the idea. Skeleton Ninja, okay. Palette Swap City. Malone. There's the Minotaur or Minotaur. Ming, Mig, Mignator? I'm not sure. Archon Lancia? That seems like a very Castlevania thing. This thing reminds me of... Um, there's a DC villain, Arsenal. <laughs> just because just it looks like the green armor with the weapon. Skelawing, Trident. Okay. Galatrice. They're kind of weird. They came in pretty late. Something a bit like a cockatrice, I guess. Oh, they're golems. They're not robots. They're big golems, of course. Man, they're they're tough. Sword guardian. Skullone. We've had them. Are they resistant? No. So there's a whole lot we still haven't even encountered, which is encouraging. And these were some of the yokai that were. They were in the. I think it's the DLC map that I tried on night one, which you can find in the archive. You should definitely check that out. A little surprising. I wasn't. I clearly wasn't mentally prepared for it. So there's a lot to be done still. Thunderous Oni. I quite like that. I like these. The Windy Oni. Oh, it's a Tanuki. <laughs> Mario fans would know it well. Raiju. Is that a little nod to the Storm God Raijin, maybe? I'm not sure. Kamaitachi. Is that something in like a... I was, <laughs> when I first played this, I thought it was some sort of like tulip or something. But now I'm thinking, is it like a swirling... Uh, something riding like a swirling wind. Fair enough. We got all these unlocks. So I'm, I mean, there's so much to unlock in this. I Like, I did not expect the map, uh, not the map, the menu. I didn't expect the menu to be itself like <laughs> a house for more unlockable things. This is really good. I guess, what do we got in the power up? So I, re-roll was not an option available until, uh, you know, one of my last plays. So I, I grabbed that because re-rolling Sometimes you, the options you're given for your level up just aren't what you want. You might be trying to, particularly now that I understand the combinations to evolve weapons, which is, is like a key strategy for getting through these things, clearly. Being able to re-roll is like a, like that's a good one. You want that one. We've got 8,000 to play with. I guess I, I still got a character to unlock. Growth would be good. Luck is fine. I'm not getting the curse. I'm not crazy come on here a thousand for that guy po racho i'm wondering is is po racho like a pun a bit like bo racho in mortal kombat a lot of mortal kombat references going on you're gonna you're just gonna have to learn to live with it but po racho bo racho i think that was bo racho is that like a drunk it's a drunken thing or something i don't know yeah should we i don't know Time-wise, I'm probably going to wrap this up. This has been really good. Was that a single run? It went a long time. I guess there's half an hour of play, but upgrades and things like that along the way padded out. We also had the recap of my success in the inlaid library. So I'll probably come back and next time try... What's the next stage? 
The Gallo Tower. That looks pretty interesting. I'll try that next time, I think. More relics to collect. That's good to know. Good stuff. Okay, so if you want to be here for that, make sure you go smash that follow, subscribe, do all those things. So on Twitch, you can find me just whenever I'm on. Uh, make sure you follow there. And then if you look in the About section, you'll get a link to the YouTube archive. on, uh, Or you could just find that by searching Hellhole and Vampire Survivors. I got plenty of stuff on the boil right now. We're doing uh, the Street Fighter Six World Tour, which I'm enjoying very much. I got to get back to Elden Ring. I've kind of uh, arbitrarily delayed that. Vampire Survivors has kind of taken over everything now. Because I this is great. This is like a insanely cheap deal make sure you get on steam if you're at all interested get the summer sale deal it's only on for another day or so so check that out it was like a couple of bucks for this game i got it with the dlc package i think i got the soundtrack as well and it was like a few bucks all up it's incredible you must try this if you're at all curious now is the time to do it that's what i did uh this is uh this is a whole new world for the hell because traditionally i'm not a pc gamer now i've got like I've got eight or so PC games ready to go. I'm excited. I've got so many options. There's things already going on. We'll get to it all. There's plenty of time. I don't know. Find me on Twitter, at T Hellhole. I usually forget to tweet that I'm about to stream. There's a Discord server where I do remember, but uh, we're saving that for, like, that's, that's going to be an incentive. The The cool dudes who subscribe, they can they can get the Discord. That's, that's how we're playing that one. Um... We need more live views to get subscribers, so I don't know. If if you can if you can follow and be here when I'm on, you don't have to chat. That works for me perfectly fine. I'll focus on the game. I don't know. I got some good tips last time I was playing. Anyway, we're done. Good good game. I will see you next time. Uh yeah. Like leave a comment in the archive if you're watching there and just check everything else out. Adios amigos.